Warriors, welcome back to NBA Countdown. Just some tragic news now. Warriors assistant coach Dejan Milanovic died today after having a heart attack, the team announced. Woj, what more can you tell us about what happened? Yeah, the uh, Warriors arrived in Salt Lake City yesterday expecting to play the Jazz tonight. They had a team dinner at a restaurant last night, uh, and he suffered the heart attack during the dinner. He was rushed to the hospital, and, you know, the entire, I think the, uh, Warriors organization spent the evening at the hospital. They were back there early this morning. Uh, he passed away today. This is a coach uh, came to the NBA in 2021 with Steve Kerr, uh, was a top-level player in Serbia and, uh, and a top-level coach in Serbia, very close to Nikola Jokic, played a you know, real significant part in his development as a young player, and, and that's just a devastating blow for the Warriors, but the NBA and really the international basketball community yeah a pillar in the NBA a pillar in, in international basketball as well Bob you hired him you won a championship with him in 2022 what more can you tell us we've seen the outpouring of support from players around the league about who he was and, and what he means and meant to this organization it, um, it, it hurts he's um it's just hard because um when you when you work with these people um, especially for coaches, Malika, it, it, you, people say it, but you see them more than your family. You, know, you do. You develop a closeness. Um, and it's just hard because he was this bigger-than-life person. And he, he would light up a room. And I just, it's such a loss because he's gone. And um, I just feel so bad for uh, his children and his wife and the people that work with him because and know him and knew him um he left a he left a huge mark on everybody that he crossed paths with including me um i'm lucky i knew him for the time i did uh and it's just life you know you hear that news i walked in here and to work and i see it on the ticker and i just it just took me back um I knew it had happened, but sometimes it just you just there's a shock to it. There's a disbelief. There's it's too th these things happen. You can't process them. Mm -hmm. um, but I've talked to some people with the Warriors, and um, he he it, it's it's hard right now. Yeah. It's really hard. And the, the, I know they canceled the game. There was no way uh, they could have played that game. Yeah. Um, and it's just, uh, it's awful, and um, we're all worse off that he's not going to be here in this world. It's Absolutely. sad. Our, our hearts, our thoughts, our condolences with the Milojevic family. He was only 46 years old. Tonight's game between the Utah Jazz and the Golden State Warriors has been postponed, and a moment of silence will be held ahead of the Cavaliers and Milwaukee Bucks game.